Immunotherapy has been a game changer for treating cancers like melanoma, lung cancer, and bladder cancer. Now the FDA has approved the first ever combination of immunotherapy and chemotherapy for treating breast cancer. This is not for all patients. It's for uh, patients with metastatic breast cancer, so it means the cancer already left the breast and gone to some other part of the body. Um, and even within metastatic breast cancer, it's specifically for triple negative breast cancer. Dr. James Abraham, an oncologist at Cleveland Clinic, says this new treatment is an option, though, which could be a game changer for those it can help. About 15% of breast cancers are diagnosed as triple negative, which is an aggressive form of the disease that doesn't respond well to traditional treatments. The FDA approval comes after recent research showed this combination of immunotherapy and chemotherapy can be effective in reducing the spread of stage four triple negative breast cancer, helping women live longer without cancer. Immunotherapy works by activating the body's immune cells to attack the cancer cells. Triple negative breast cancer is more likely to be diagnosed in women younger than 50, and especially in African-American women. The doctor says advancements in immunotherapy will hopefully lead to more treatment options for other types of breast cancer in the future. This is a small step forward for a, this subset of patients, but we are really hopeful and optimistic that potentially immunotherapy can be treatment option for probably wider subset of patients. The doctor points out that important research, which can lead to more treatment options, would not be possible without people willing to take part in clinical trials. Women interested in learning more about the clinical trials taking place regarding immunotherapy and breast cancer can visit clinicaltrials.gov. Carolyn Bruck, NBC Charlotte.